if you want to live longer and reduce your risk of different diseases, then it's important to maintain a physically active lifestyle and eat a good diet and get enough sleep and all the other aspects of healthy lifestyle for as long as possible. But there are also some different supplements that you could take to help with that process or support other aspects of the functional decline in aging. Make sure you click a like and subscribe as well for future videos about optimizing your health and performance. First of all, the premise of this video is that, you know, of course, there are different supplements that you can take at different stages of your life. Someone who is in their 20s probably don't need to take metformin or rapamycin unless they have a specific medical condition. But there are some supplements that actually can be taken at all ages of their adulthood at the, in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s, in your 70s, in your 80s. And it would still have positive effects on improving functional outcomes of longevity and health span. The first supplement is going to be collagen because, you know, most people take collagen for the sake of anti-aging and beauty and skin health and things like that. But uh, collagen is still, because of that reason as well, can be considered one of the best longevity supplements. Collagen is important for maintaining joint health, reducing symptoms of osteoarthritis, knee pain, and also improving skin health, skin hydration, and reducing the sign of visible wrinkles. Now, the reason why you want to take collagen at all ages is that, you know, your collagen degradation starts already in your 20s. Starting at the age of 20, you start to lose your collagen in your skin about 1% per year. So that's why it's important to start taking collagen and increasing your collagen intake already in your 20s. Women have slightly less collagen probably because they have less total skin protein because they're somewhat smaller than men but uh, both genders do lose their collagen and both genders will benefit from increasing their collagen intake even if you're not interested in wrinkles or skin aging then uh, taking collagen for the sake of your joints is obviously uh, paramount and or like one of the most important things for longevity because if you're immobile then your risk of diabetes and and obesity skyrockets and there are multiple studies showing how collagen supplementation collagen peptide supplementation improves skin aging as well as joint function the second supplement is going to be creatine which is considered a sports performance enhancing supplement and it is considered the number one sports performance supplement in the world that has dozens and even hundreds of studies showing its efficacy now this is a supplement that most younger people are more likely to take if you're a gym bro or if you're someone in your 20s who goes to the gym and works out then you're more likely to take creatine than collagen of course but creatine also has anti-aging benefits for the elderly so you should want to take creatine you know at all stages of your life starting at when you reach adulthood now the only individuals who shouldn't take creatine are someone who has pre-existing kidney damage or renal failure but creatine has been found to be very safe for other individuals who don't have any pre-existing medical condition number three is going to be glycine which is an amino acid that supports collagen synthesis but it also supports creatine synthesis it supports heme synthesis it supports glutathione synthesis and it supports bile acid synthesis as well i don't know like it's some of like in my opinion one of the most well-rounded and the best kind of longevity supplements that you can take you can check out my other videos about this but the main idea is that, yeah, glycine improves your glutathione levels, which is more important for the elderly who have low glutathione levels. But in your youth, glycine can still be very beneficial for things like joint health, skin health, as well as lowering blood sugar, improving sleep and Im improving like GABA synthesis or like making you more relaxed. So glycine is just yeah something that you can just take pretty much uh, at all stages of your life. From a longevity side, then it has been found that glycine has potential longevity benefits by mimicking methionine restriction and increasing autophagy. Number four is going to be glucosamine, which is another like supplement that is considered for older people who have joint pain or arthritis, etc. Which is true, it has been found that glucosamine supplementation does improve those symptoms and it can improve joint function. But your cartilage already starts to be wearing down in your 20s already, especially if you're not getting enough collagen. So adding some glucosamine, in my opinion, is just something that has no downside it has no real downside glucosamine has no real like negative side effects it's an anti-inflammatory compound it actually boosts autophagy and it helps with the symptoms of knee pain etc and it also supports the synthesis of cartilage so instead of playing catch up once you get arthritis it's much more important to have a preventive approach start supporting your cartilage and collagen synthesis well before you get any symptoms so that's the kind of smarter way of going about it 
Plus, glucosamine use has also been seen to be associated with reduced cardiovascular disease mortality and overall mortality. Of course, those studies are done on older people, but they do control for things like body mass index and other health outcomes to make sure that it's specifically the glucosamine that mediates those benefits, not the other healthy associations. And the last supplement is going to be NEC, primarily because it supports glucosamine synthesis and combining glycine with NEC has multiple benefits and it has been found in many studies. In animal studies, it has been found that it can increase lifespan of mice by 24%, but in human clinical trials, it has been repeatedly shown that it improves the hallmarks of aging related to inflammation, glutathione deficiency, oxidative stress, mitochondrial function, as well as improve functional outcomes like muscle strength, gait speed, as well as body composition and metabolic profile. Again, the glycine and NEC combo may have more important effects in older individuals or the individuals who have comorbidities that lower their glutathione levels. But again, it's I think it's like another example of this playing catch-up. You don't necessarily want to play catch-up and uh, it's worthwhile to do support your glutathione levels and uh, make sure that you do follow like obviously a healthy lifestyle. But if you can add like a few compounds that do improve functional outcomes as well in glutathione deficient people, then I see no downside. The only issue with NSC is that you shouldn't take it after resistance training or around high intensity exercise because it has been shown to blunt some of the inflammatory positive response to training as well as reduce power output. And on top of that, NAC can also cause some histamine reactions to histamine sensitive people because NAC reduces histamine breakdown. So you have to be careful with that. So these are the top five supplements, one of my favorite supplements that I take regularly pretty much every day. And I do think that those are the supplements that I will keep taking pretty much for the rest of my life. But do you want to slow down aging and live longer? If yes, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.